Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, I'm actually heading over to the shop. We're getting work done on the 135, hopefully fixing my transmission pan bolts. I got all the new bolts from FCP Euro a few weeks back actually now. I just haven't had the time to actually get anything done. So I got all 24 new bolts. I'm just gonna replace all of them. I also am gonna put in the new FRM module. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that coded today though. So we'll see what happens with that. But after I get all that done, I, this car should be good. Um, shouldn't have any problems. Let's go ahead and jump forward and us getting to the garage. We're gonna meet up with Noor. So I'll see you guys then. Jeez, that thing looks crazy. Get to the shop. I think Nor's already here because uh, um, I hear my car on inside. Perfect, Hello, buddy. Perfect time. I finally got this thing started. It took me like four different jumps. Jeez. Yeah, it won't start. Yesterday it took me three, so I just pushed it in. I guess I need a new battery. Oh, man. I haven't messed with this car in forever. I haven't even uh, touched this car in like three weeks. Well, hopefully today. <laughs> hopefully today. All right, let's go ahead and get working on this car. Before we do that, what? you want to show me a few things? I saw it. You saw it? <laughs> I didn't record it though. I was scared when someone steps outside the car, they'll step oh on it. God. But I didn't even notice this. Yeah. I saw the spoiler on the back. No, yeah, I just got these on. But they're like perfectly like spaced out. It looks so good. It looks really good. And then I finally fixed it to YouTube <laughs> so it's not sticking out. Bro, bro. <laughs> so this spoiler's <laughs> crazy, dude. And then we got this. Holy crap, that's crazy. Dang, guys. Oh my goodness, I need to do something like that to my car. Oh my god, okay. Let's go ahead and get started on my car. Needs a lot of work. We need to do the transmission stuff. We're gonna replace the FRM module as well. And then hopefully we can do a photo shoot later. There's a cool spot by an airport down the road. It's like five minutes. And I think it would be a really cool uh, location to shoot. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do that as well. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I feel like I've been neglecting this car a little bit too much. I need to get some work done for real, for real today. Hopefully we can fix everything. I seriously haven't driven this car in like at least three weeks, four weeks. This whole month, pretty much, I haven't been able to drive it. The month of January, since like the beginning of it. I can't remember exactly what day. I really need this car running and driving. And we'll see what I'll do to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything crazy to this car. We got some big ideas in mind for the future. So we'll see what happens. She's just been sitting. She's actually still pretty clean for just been sitting for like a whole month straight. The lifters are acting up again, unfortunately, so it's making like that ticking noise, but it has been sitting, so I'm assuming that once I start driving it again, uh, it should be fine and go away, because that's what happened when I first bought it. All right guys, so we actually have an extra battery at the shop. Um, we're gonna go ahead and replace it, but first, we're gonna go take it to AutoZone to charge it. It's a new battery, right? It's, it's, checked. it's it, pretty new, it's 2015. That's pretty good, honestly. We're gonna go ahead and try it. I think it's a bigger battery than the one I actually have in right now. So we're gonna go ahead and take this to AutoZone, uh, let it charge. While it's charging, we're gonna go ahead and fix the FRM module or just replace it. Uh, that will take about 20 minutes, honestly. Nothing too crazy. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the transmission pan. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just dropped off the battery uh, at AutoZone. It's going to be charging for a little bit. But while it's charging, let's go ahead and replace the FRM module. And then once we got the FRM module done, we're going to go ahead and start on the transmission pan. And I'll go ahead and show you guys those bolts as well. I got 24 new bolts from FCP Euro. So they have warranty. They're BMW OEM. So it's perfect. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here are the bolts for the transmission pan. I got all brand new 24 bolts. Um, from FCP Euro, the BMW OEM, right here, FCP Euro. All right guys, so here's the FRM module that we're gonna be replacing. This is the new one, and as you can see, right here it says FRM3, so that's the module that we need. So I just got out the uh, module. It was kind of a pain, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Now I know what I'm doing. So the next time if I have to do it, it will be a lot easier. But here's the new one. So I got the new one right over here, right over here, and then the old one. So this is the old one right here that I got out just now. PL2 FRM3 right over here. 
and then over here says FRM 3 PL2 on the new one so I'm hoping that won't be a problem um, I don't think it will be because the connections are exactly the same and I have to get it coded anyway so I don't think that will be a problem I'm not gonna be able to get the coding done today anyway uh, so I just wanted to replace it it should be exactly the same as it was before until I get it coded we'll see how that is uh, we'll know once I turn on the car uh, and everything goes if everything goes smoothly then I'll know um, but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put in the new one and uh, we'll test that out Alright guys, so we just put in the new uh, module. Uh, I hope the footage was good. I kind of just set it down, so it might not be the best. But anyway, I got it all set up. Um, put everything back together. We're just going to wait for the new battery to be fully charged before we like test it. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get that bolt out, the one that snapped. And after we do that, we're going to replace all the bolts uh, with brand new bolts so they don't snap or break while I'm driving because that would be really, really bad. I don't want any more problems with this transmission. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Go ahead and jack up the car. We just need to get it done. We just need to get it done. The car will be solid, and then I'll be able to enjoy it for a little bit, see what happens, modify it, hopefully. We'll see. You wanna show them? Huh? You wanna show them what we're working with? All right guys, so pretty much, if you haven't seen my last video when I was working on the 135, one of the bolts snapped on the transmission pan, so now we have to extract that. The kit that we're gonna be using is this little thing right over here. Basically, you're just gonna drill in uh, big enough. Now, you don't want something bigger than your extraction tool. So this is about mid range between this and then we're gonna go ahead and just hand tighten this all the way in. And then once we start untying it, it's actually gonna pull out the screw. Should, should, should work, work pretty well. Hopefully. I, I did it once and it worked great. All right. So I, I think it's fairly easy to do. So let's just try it. And pretty much if this doesn't work, then we have to take off the whole transmission pan and that's gonna be a lot longer of a process, probably like two hours. So let's hope that's not the case. Let's hope this thing works. John, the electrician. <laughs> okay. Are you able to do it? It's really... Oh. About to find out. That's a lot better. Got it. For real? Mm -hmm. What the heck? <gasps> that got an angle. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys. It's out. It's out. It worked. Oh my god. Look at the jankiness. How to go. It is so easy. <laughs> it's actually like so easy. Once you drill a hole, that tool is amazing. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So, Nor saved the day with this because I don't know if I could have done that to be honest. I got you, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> but it's out. This stupid bolt broke. We're going to go ahead and replace all of the other bolts as well just to be safe. So, this does not happen again. I don't want this happening again. Just in case, you never know what could happen. So I spent 90 bucks on this, so it better be worth it. It better not break. I'm gonna go ahead and test out which size they are. I think they're a T40. Got my whole thing right here. Yeah, guys, so it is a T40. Let me see if I can focus that. T40. All right guys, so we just finished up everything. I put the new bolts in. These ones right here are actually the old bolts. So we got all of them right over here. So I torqued down everything. We got everything good to go. Now we just gotta go grab that battery uh, that we took to AutoZone. We're gonna put it in this car and then we're gonna start it up, see if it's leaking and then see if the FRM module is good as well. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. Hopefully none of them go wrong. So let's go grab that battery. All right guys, so we got the new battery in. Well, not the new one, the old one, but it's fully charged now. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the car, see what happens. So we got the new transmission bolts in. We also got the new FRM module in. So now we just need to see if this car actually works. If it works, we're gonna go do a photo shoot with the car. Hopefully it works. I wanna do this little photo shoot. We found a cool spot to take pictures. I think it would be really good for like Instagram. By the way, go follow me on Instagram. Let's go ahead and go get the, let me go get the keys and uh, 
We'll turn on the car, see what happens. T. Yeah, the interior lights are on. The interior lights are on? Yeah. <gasps> That's really good. Yeah, totally. I wasn't doing that before. Yeah. So guys, before we do anything, turning it on or anything, we noticed that the lights did turn on, and that's good because before the lights didn't turn on, and we're also gonna make sure that the windows roll down because that didn't happen either. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the trickle charger just in case. So let's go ahead and hook this up. Ready? Yeah. All right, we're gonna test the windows. Hopefully they roll down. No. Nah. Uh, All right. But the lights work and they didn't used to, right? They didn't used to work, which is good. What about the headlights? Turn on the headlights. All right, cool. Now that's working because before it used to just stay completely on and like a dimmed, a little bit dimmed. Right. So now that's working, but we still need to figure out the window situation. We haven't turned on the car yet, so we're going to test it when it's actually on to see if the windows roll down because that's really important. I hate not being able to roll down my windows. How many trees? Yes, let's try it. Okay. All right, guys, so we got the car on. Windows still don't work, unfortunately. It still needs to be coated, probably. It still needs to be coated in. So it locks still, which it was doing before anyway. When it first went out, it wasn't working. It wasn't. I wasn't able to lock the car, and then all of a sudden, it was. I was able to. It's. It's kind of stupid. So now the lights work. The headlights work. Now the only problem is the windows not being able to roll down. I'm. I still have to get it coated anyway, because the new FRM module has to be coated to my uh to my vin number so i'm gonna get that done within a few days hopefully and then once i do that this car should be perfectly good to go we noticed that the headlights are actually flickering i don't know if you guys can see that on video i don't know if it picks it up because sometimes it's kind of it's, it's kind of funny sometimes but these are flickering really bad i don't plan on driving it today anyway but everything else seems to be good the battery seems to be good i'm gonna let it run for a little bit because it still needs to charge up the battery the battery was almost completely dead we were having problems to where when we move it out Turn it, we would turn it on twice a day and only move it and park it outside and it wasn't being able to be charged. But now I should be able to be driving this more so that should not be a problem anymore. Alright guys, so I just realized I never recorded an outro for this video. Essentially, everything should be perfectly good to go now. The transmission should be good. There's no leaks. The FRM still needs to be coated, but I'll do that another day. We also went and did a photo shoot. I wasn't able to record it because the camera I use for vlogging is the same camera I use for photography. So I wasn't able to do that. I forgot to record on my phone. So sorry about that. I might throw up some pictures just so you can see. Follow me on Instagram. Send me a message. Send me a DM. Say what's up. If you have a question, I'm always there to answer it. I get back to literally everybody on Instagram. I literally get back to everybody. So I was wondering if you guys would be down to do like a group chat kind of thing on Instagram, I'm like this huge group chat with like hundreds of people building up the BMW community, showing like kind of like showcasing your cars. How would you guys feel about that? Let me know what you guys think down below if you guys would join. I think it's time to end the video. Remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that BMW. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.